What's up guys, it's Albert from Muffin Group and today I would like to show you how to import single page. Let's say you found on the other Pribble website and you like it so much that you want to have exactly the same one on your site but without importing whole demo with all its settings, media, etc. This is something we get asked quite often, hence the idea for this video. The whole process is extremely easy and would take at least a couple of seconds what I'm going to show you right now. Let's say we have already imported one of the pre-built websites and our website is already online and we don't want to destroy the current layout by importing new demo with all its settings and content. And suddenly, while watching our demos, you came across a page you like and would like to have one at your site. Let's say the page you actually see on my screen, which is one of the pages from the B Marketing 2 demo, as one of the pages you would like to import. So basically all you have to do is take that link from the browser URL and go uh, to the B Builder where the actual content is uh, and where you would like to import uh, that uh, page you like and on the left side click on that single page import option. What we have to do now is just paste the link we've already copied from the, the other tab and uh, paste it into this field. Uh, later we can select if we want to insert the content from that page before the current builder content, the after, or just replace it. Uh, let's say I want it before the content. So all I have to do now is click the import button. All right, the content has copied, as you can see on my screen right now. And what's important to mention is that uh, the content basically uh, you are copying from the other side comes without media. It's just the content and the layout. Uh, so uh, if you want to put the media, you have to do this manually after importing it. If you decide that you don't want the content to be before the actual content on the site, you can easily go back with the settings and you can see that it has disappeared. And if you want, you can paste that link again and for example, let's say you can replace existing content and as you can see, um, the content we just had uh, has disappeared and only the content from the other tab has been uh, pasted instead of the content we already had this here. Oh, and it's important to make sure your version of Bifim is not older than 26 0.6.6 as in that version we made some changes according to this feature. Since we are on the subject of copying content, it's worth mentioning that we can copy paste specific sections only and not whole pages, but it works only within the same domain. Let's hop into my screen and I will explain how it works. So uh, let's say I will go back to the original version of uh, the page I'm actually working on. And let's say uh, in the other tab, I have the other page within the same domain open it. And for example, I have the section like this one here where on the left you have some text with dental department uh, heading and an image on the right side. And I want only that section to be copied uh, to the page I'm actually working on. So all I have to do is hover over these three dots um, on the green bar of the section and click on the export section button. And now I have to go uh, to the other tab where I have the page I'm actually working on and uh, hover uh, over the three dots as well and decide if I want to import the content I've already copied uh, before that section or after. So let's say I want it before 
and as soon as I click, you're gonna see that the section I've just copied has been pasted here. Or if you don't want it to be here, you can click uh, go back and you can do the same thing and import the content after. I think it's pretty useful if you are working between different pages and you would like to just speed up your work. Uh, so this is basically a great feature. So you don't have to import uh, the whole pages, but just the specific sections only. I really hope you like this tutorial and from now on, you will be using single page import feature more often in your projects. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.